Here's Slipper Rock head coach Mike Benelli, a 3-3 uh, double overtime tie, second double overtime tie to open the uh, SRU tournament this year. Tiffin, a very, very difficult opponent, though. Uh, they, they beat Mercer's 4-0 in the first game of the tournament. Talk a little about the, uh, the end result today. Yeah, it's a tough result, John. When you have a 3-1 lead, you never want to give that up. Uh, you want to finish the game off. But like you said, Tiffin's a very good opponent. Uh, probably favored to win, or at least the top three in the GLIAC this year, which is a very tough conference. So, as we always talk about, uh, you know, picking the four teams in our region to go to the NCAA tournament, it's going to help us down the road. But we got to learn from it and get better for our game against Seton Hall on Wednesday. And uh, talking to, to Chris Davis after the game, the, some chemistry starting to develop between him and Mike Group Singh. Just the second game for those two up top, but you saw it today with they connected on two goals. Talk a little bit about the uh, the chemistry between those two guys up top. Yeah, I think they both did a good job today. You know, some some good passing, some good combination play around the box and they're starting to feel each other out so I think like you said uh, we got a lot of new players this year we're gonna need training sessions and games to get to click you know hopefully towards the PSAC uh, season and then you know we lead into the playoffs at the end of the year and uh, moving ahead now get rid of the tournament style format here you get a couple days off here you're back at it on Wednesday with another home game start the game with start the year with three home games you got a big stretch of six home games in the middle of the year what's it gonna do for this team to be able to have so many home contests this year yeah it's exciting uh, we love playing on the new turf and uh, we, we hear Egley Field is in great shape too so we're gonna get on the grass on Wednesday to have two great venues that we do is great for recruiting and we enjoy playing on both surfaces so we're excited to get on Angley Field on Wednesday and like I said starting at home you know it gets new players you know more acclimated to you know the Slippery Rock surrounding so we're excited for that and uh, we've had some great crowds two games you know I want to thank the crowds and the fans and the student athletes and the students who came out today because another great crowd a couple hundred people here so it makes it makes our players play a lot better we're excited for that. Outstanding congratulations coach. Thanks a lot John. Here's Slipper Rock forward Chris Davis scored two goals today in a 3-3 tie, double overtime with Tiffin. Chris, um, some great chemistry starting to develop between you and Mike Rup Singh up front. Talk a little bit about the uh, about the two goals today that you guys connected on. The first one, it was kind of like back pass to him. He was there, found me. We both looked at it. He was gonna shoot, defender step. He passed it to me. It's an open shot. So I mean, me and him, we're starting to come together. Real, like this season is gonna be nice. Him outside left, me up top. And uh, you coming back from injury last season, uh, very promising start to the year, your freshman year last year, and then you, had, you ended up missing a lot of games last year. Healthy, Health-wise right now, you look strong on the field. What's it mean to be able to come back into this year and have such a strong team up front to, to be able to compete with this year? A lot. It means a lot. I mean, last year, it was we had up top, like we had strength up top, but this year, I have people who can run with me. Not the same speed, but quicker. Like We, we both see eye to eye. Outstanding. And uh, the team, two ties here this weekend, maybe not the, the result hoped for, but two very, very difficult opponents, Ashland and Tiffin. Uh, so you start the year with two ties. Where's the, where's the mentality of the team moving forward into the season now? And nowhere but up. That's the only way we can go. We're getting better and better. Like, I guess we have never beat Ashland. We tied them. I mean, it's a better result than losing. So. Outstanding. Congratulations, Chris. Thanks.